Greetings. Welcome to Regalad Tech once again. Make sure you subscribe, share, and sip green leaf. So this 4th of July is supposed to be a special one, celestially, both astrologically and astronomically. We have a phenomenon here, very rare set of celestial alignments going on right now. So let's confirm a the theory. Supposedly there's a parade of planets, as they, so to speak. Parade, meaning all the planets are lined up somehow. And as you know, some of us know two planets, three planets, even five planets tend to align in a row rather frequently, months and a few years apart they tend to align here and there but for it to have technically or supposedly all planets aligned let's let's dig into this before we go ahead and start sharing memes and start sharing posts that could be perpetuating falsehood or facts or somewhere in between only with this research can you draw your solid conclusion to where you stand on it <coughs> So let's look at the map here. This is the sun. Right? Set it to 4th of July. 1 a.m. 4th of July. Ready? This is 1 a.m. 4th of July. Let's see where the planets line up. So as we can see, there is some sense of alignment or togetherness for the mere fact that all the planets seem to be on one side of the sun right now. There it is. Oh, there's the exception, Uranus. Uranus is considered a dwarf planet, so is Pluto. So if we're going to say, let's take a spin around and see what's on the other side. Nothing at all. In this solar system, there is nothing. Perhaps some dwarf planets. But the significant planets are indeed all aligned on this side here, on one side of the sun. How long has this been in effect? And how long will it be in this case? Well, let's take a step back and see. Let's set the timeline to move automatically for us. We're going to go backwards. We're into June 30th, June 29th. Let's go a little faster. There we go, okay, things are moving now. So, okay, so we would say, in order to say things, at what point did things start to coalesce on one side of the sun? Right now, you can't really say so. But as we begin to, let's move this back forward now. Since we're in May of 2020, let's move it forward back to June. June, 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 we're still in June, still in June, still in June, June 27th, June 28th, June 29th, here we go, July, July indeed is when it definitely we can say they seem to be coalesced on the same side, we're into July 8th, 9th, okay, here we go, we're still moving forward, so we still have this sense of alignment going on, well into July, well into July 15th here, we're still going, this looks like the phenomenon is going to be happening all month here, maybe. Let's see. Okay, here we go. We're starting to break away from things here now. Yeah, yeah. So at this point now, I would say we've broken the alignment. Why? Because specifically for us, we're on Earth. We're no longer aligned significantly with any planets 
directly behind us or at least 10 to 15 degrees left or right being behind us so let's go back now because we're into September let's jump back August July here we go so July I would say this thing slips out of alignment right here July around I would I'm gonna say around July 23rd around there is when you yeah is when you start to see the significant break right here yep July 20 around July 20th July sorry bear with me trying to get it to the back actual time let's click actual time again we're back here today's July 4 July 5th and we're gonna move forward there it is yeah right around the 20th like I said as it approaches the 20th the alignment starts to break however we'll still be on the same side every planet every significant planet will still be on the same side of the Sun except Uranus slightly out there so you got July 26 yeah as you go into after July this thing will be officially broken up because Mercury will Mercury will have moved on to the other side of the Sun so there you have it now what's so significant about all the planets being on one side you have to deal with um, the fact that you have um, a scientific body that will talk about the radiation and effects of the radiation from all the different planets coming back and forth to the Sun every planet shares a reciprocal exchange of radiation between each other constantly so as the Sun sh reflects on a planet right the planet reflects it back how do we know because you look up in the sky at night planets don't have light in them they shine light just like the moon they reflect back the light that the Sun's blasting off of them so therefore within the gaseous atmosphere and all the compounds that are picked up when the sunlight hits a planet all that gets transferred back with the reflected radiation now that reflected radiation is what coming back this way off of the planets let's take Saturn for example which is has an immense Saturn and Jupiter have tremendous amount of complex sediments gases and whatnot that would want to come back through the atmosphere so now you got this radiation coming off of these planets sort of like contamination for lack of a better word or that's coming back now and obviously th that energy and everything embedded in that in that radiation is coming back and is obviously right passing the Sun so now the Sun I mean uh, the earth it's passing the earth on its way back to the Sun or on as it's radiating out into the solar system this earth is getting radiation and it's getting that concoction of radiation coming back from the planets all those planets combining and there's a ton of radiation hitting planet earth right so that is where it's at comment and subscribe make sure you uh, ask questions if you don't understand or if there's anything here I should go over or I'm missing please jump in clarify and comment sip up so so you have the astronomical aspect and then you got the you have you can't forget the astrological 
of x now, right? Because, you know, in astrology, it's not so much based on uh, scientific facts. It's more like, the, you know, the relations between the humans and planets and their, you know, the positions of everything, you know, the positions and the aspects of everything. So there is a lot going on in all of these worlds of, in all these fields of study. So one thing that can't be ignored is that there must be some energetic properties that is happening whether it's positive, negative, how it affects us, how it affects Earth, how it affects the push and pull of everything, right? Because the celestials, and the celestials, how these things floating around, everything is energy, electricity, magnetism. And no different here on Earth with how we, because of these invisible energies, these subtle energies, what what dominates these things what what how do these things operate so just like in the celestials if things can be affected by magnetism from radiation and things of that nature then what's to say it won't have an effect on humans who operate under the same sciences as push and pull of the world, of the universe, the magnetism, the electricity. So, thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like, share.